Hey, Tim Alden here, Alden Leather Supply. Um, wanted to show you guys a quick video I'm gonna do of our Sheridan scroll stencils here on a shop top pattern and just kind of show you how I lay things out with these uh, Sheridan scrolls. So we're gonna have a back belt coming in here. So I'm just gonna kind of roll out of here like this. We're just gonna trace our outside line. The inside line is going to be where our stickers come on the inside, and then we'll end up erasing the outside and uh, fill those stickers in from there. And so um, we've got five different sizes of these scrolls, and you can just kind of mix them and match them however you need to uh, fit these spaces. So this V right here is important to leave a gap there when uh, we do that because that allows room for everything else on the outside to roll in there. If you had everything you know, moved over here, it just isn't going to flow well. So all you gotta do is just flip these guys around and pretty much anywhere on that radius, we can plant that. And so it makes fill in space real easy and uh, you know you don't have to uh, worry about whether you, the direction of your piece is going correct. So that one's just a little bit tight for that spot there. So we're going to throw this guy in here, a little bit smaller one. So we can't quite get that guy in there. I'm going to play around with my uh, belt scrolls here. These are for set up with two scrolls for a running scroll like on a belt strap, but that doesn't mean that you can't uh, use them for this stuff too. They're sold in a set as well. That one's a little bit too big. And we're gonna go with that guy right there. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap. That way we can Pull this far enough that when I come off of here, I don't have too awkward of a space to fill. Just shoot that tail head and back that direction. Go in there, and then we're good to go. And then uh, let's see what we want to do up here as well. Don't want to fill this whole thing up with florals, so just gonna kind of play around with uh, throwing a scroll down here. Okay, so that's the bones of it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and start filling these scrolls in now. And uh, so I always start with the flower stem on the inside, and then I'm going to start working my way back. So 
So you can see this one's rolling down and tapering in here. And then this one's going to come back. We want those to taper off real nice and long. So now that I've started this third one, this one's going to roll around to where the third one stops. And so I can go ahead and erase that dotted line right there. So this one's rolling around, stopping right here. Okay, got a little bit of light there. That one's just going to trail off there. And if you add your flowers first, sometimes it's hard to get these evenly spaced. If you space these out before adding your flower, then your overall stem width is going to stay more consistent. That's what I've found. The old style of Sheridan um, drawing has you plant your flowers in your circle, and so that gets people kind of on that uh, direction, but I like to put them uh, in last. Okay, we're gonna stop there. We don't wanna go on the outside because when we fill this outside in, that's how much, when we'll know how much room we need in here. So we want that gap to where we can fill from this side coming here, fill from this side coming here, and then we're gonna go across that section. So that's why I stop right there. Stop there. And then we can come back through and kind of refine these lines. Our stem's going to go down to where this one starts. Should taper off a little bit further to where that one starts. When uh, learning to draw, I try to uh, get people to follow the principles as much as possible in the beginning. If you try to jump ahead and whatnot, that's when you typically get lost. Um, and so, um, if you can continue to, uh, just follow those principles 
and uh, just kind of work your way back through that. This whole process is going to be a lot better. Starting from the inside, the scroll, working to the outside. And because this one um, goes this way here, we're, uh, you know, we'll stop there and then we'll uh, fill this in, roll around to here, and then we're going to come around to this one, and then we can jump over here for this one, but just to kind of continue on. Throw in here for an element. It's a little bit big. I don't like it so much. So that's just going to be a front, and I don't do a ton of those where it goes under the border. Um, I drew my border on kind of big, so we're just going to cheat it and uh, go over that border just a little bit. Now I'm going to come from this side. You can see where that one rolls around there and so if we cut that off we might not have uh, enough room to uh, fill that in This one out and that one out. A little bit more room there. I'm just going to put a flower right here because that's a pretty wide space to fill in with stickers. So.
Okay, so I'm gonna just throw a simple sticker in on this side, rolling around there. You're going to fill this in and this in before we get too far with that.
once again. It's a good spot for a flower. We have our belt strap coming over here. You can kind of have an idea where that's going. guy folding over backwards like that not entirely love with that that strap wasn't there I'd just roll off and uh, from here and reach around here but that strap covering it up is going to make it to where it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense there so I'm kind of struggling with uh, how to peel off there a little bit Do a little ribbon here, kind of flowing back. Okay, that'll work there, and then we're going to come across here. Okay, so we got our scroll work here, and now all we got to do is add our flowers in. So we got a bunch of different sizes of 
different flowers that we can use. Um, this is our size zero bell flowers. And We can throw that in right there. kind of define these lines a little bit where we got our bridges from our stencil and then I'm going to come in here and erase the stuff that we want to go underneath so like this one right here it would just be running up here. If we move it back just a little bit, get a little background here, a little background there, kind of break that up a little bit. Okay, we're going to go ahead and use the... Uh, zero of our simple flowers throw some of these guys in here <clears throat> Push that one a little further forward, let it roll up over top of that pedal. Push this one forward a little bit. Last background. Move that one forward as well. Okay. 
right he's the spice of life they say might as well throw a four petal flower in here Okay. Bring this one back just a little bit. Different there. This one we can bring back just a little bit. This one I'm going to bring down a little bit. Okay, so uh, there it is, filled in, and uh, hopefully this helps. Still some cleanup to do on here. Um, it's a rough scribble, but most of the time I just try to rough stuff in, make sure it's going to fit, but you can see how that flows together and how easy it is to uh, decide where you're going to flow with your foundation lines, your, your flow line. It uh, just kind of takes the guesswork out of, you know, what fits and how you can get around that pattern. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.